In this video, we're going to be taking a look at MSI Afterburner in combination with Riva Tuner. I'm going to show you how I use it for my videos, and hopefully this helps you with yours in the future if you decide to make some. So the first thing I do in MSI Afterburner is I click on Settings, and then I click on Monitoring. Now, when I use my GPU for the settings, highlight it and since I'm using a 970 I just name it what it is and I click override graph name as well as override group name and that's going to be important later on as well as check off show on screen display so right now we're having GPU one usage Further we go down, we'll have the core clock. And as, as you can see, everything's in the same graph name and group name. And we have memory clock as well as memory usage. Now that's all we're gonna look at for right now. And as you can see on the top left, we have 33% for the usage. 1177 megahertz for the core clock 3506 for memory and 1383 for video memory usage it's that simple and if you have any other questions wondering what anything does it's very self-explanatory um, MSI Afterburner just does a really good job at explaining everything and one thing that they added that's really cool, there's actually two things in the betas that they've added, is CPU clock. And you can show that. And I, you can see I have mine as my i7-4770K. And it's showing 14% usage at 3899 megahertz, or 3.8. 99 megahertz now one of the cooler things that's been added makes you feel like you have your own FCAT system is the frame time and frame rate graphs and how you do that when you click on them and you show them an on-screen display you'll see right here it says text and graph. Now you can either have text where it just shows the numbers or just the graph. But I prefer to use text and graph. Just hit OK. And that's what gives us the nice little graph that shows any stutters or any type of unsmoothness that's in a game. You know. Not that I think this type of game is going to cause any of that. No matter what I'm going to do, it's going to stay at 60 frames, 16.6 .6 milliseconds. So now that that's out of the way, we're going to look at Riva Tuner. Now, Riva Tuner is just amazing what you can do for customization. For show on screen display, you want to make sure that's on. Start with Windows. That's personal preference. You know, if you restart your computer. And just like MSI Afterburner, there's tons of little hints that they show you. Each thing you click on will let you know what does what. These are just my settings that I have it on. Now, since I'm playing on a 60 hertz monitor, I normally always play my games with vertical sync off and what I'll do is I'll set the frame limit to 60. If you're testing out a game and you want to see your max frames per second regardless of what hertz monitor you're on, you just want to set it to zero and then hit enter. But for this game I just like to, it's a fighting game so 60 hertz, 60 frames is good enough. On screen display support, I like to keep on. Now, on screen display rendering mode, I prefer Raster 3D. You switch it to vector, and everything kind of looks 
I don't know, it just looks choppy, blocky, feels like it's 1980s. Same with Vector 2D, only it's a little worse. Really hard to read. So I just like to use the Raster 3D. To me, it's just a much cleaner look. Now, you don't have to have shadow on or stealth mode normally. I like to use stealth mode because some games they don't like, they just don't like on-screen display and they'll think that you're cheating or something, you know. So I normally keep it on, but some games just don't support on-screen display at all. Uh, I'll give you an example like the Destiny 2 beta got a patch. Next thing you know, nobody could use on-screen display. Okay, so further on, we got some really cool options before the video's over. You got on-screen display fill. Now, this was added recently. I think a few betas ago as well. Now, when you turn it off, it's kind of hard to see that now, you know? I mean, because I like to use white or yellow depending on the game. But the display fill really makes everything pop, makes it a lot easier for people to see, even with a wider background or for whatever game you're playing. Now, the palette, you have so many colors to choose from. You know, you can use red and all you gotta do is click okay and it shows you on the fly and while your game's still running, it's gonna change. Now, red just ain't working for this game, but I generally like to keep it on either white or yellow. You know, just, it just seems, those two colors really seem to work well. So we'll go back to that. You can see it changes right on the fly. Now, here's another thing that's really important. And a lot of people get hated on because they just don't know about Riva Tuner. And that's the on-screen display zoom. Because a lot of times when you see videos, you'll see this. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't see your dislike in their video. You're saying, hey, I can't read that, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not that they're doing it on purpose, they just, People, a lot of people just don't know any better. So for 1080p, I like to keep it right about a quarter into it. You know, I don't like to go too much. About a quarter into the zoom is fine. Now, if you're on 1440p, I would suggest moving it right about at the midway point. However, at 1080p, it's just gonna look ridiculous. And then if you're on a 4K monitor, up to 8K, if you're doing sampling up to 8K, or, or if you like got the money for an 8K monitor, I would definitely move it all the way up. But on 1080p, it just looks ridiculous. So let me go back. Oh yes, and show your own statistics, yes. Um, it's all optional. I mean, if you have, if you wonder what it does, like I said, I mean, everything's really self-explanatory. As well as right here, this is cool too. You can move around where you want your on-screen display at. You know, I mean, you got a lot of options you can deal with. I always like to keep mine to the top left. All right, well, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll do my best to get back to you as fast as I can. I'll have a link for MSI Afterburner as well as Riva Tuner. Normally they come together in one package, but I'll give you a link for Riva Tuner since there's always constant updates and you just want to make sure you're on the latest beta because normally I've never had any problems with betas. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed, and remember, happy PC gaming.